The following video is sponsored by the Greek American Heritage Society of Philadelphia. Θυμάμαι πολύ καλά την πρώτη φορά που χόρεψα. Ήμουν στο δημοτικό σχολείο. Χόρεψα τσάμικο και με έντισα με στολή τσολιά. Αυτή την ώρα εγώ δεν ήξερα ακριβώ αν πρέπει να χορεύουμε με αυτέ τι στολέ ή όχι. Και δέχτηκα να χορέψω επειδή μου άρεσε ο χορό. We're with Cleo Kokolis, the dance instructor of the Hellenic Heritage Dance Group here at St. Thomas Greek Orthodox Church in Cherry Hill, PA. Cleo, welcome to our program at Cosmos Philly. Um, tell us a little bit about your life and how you came to the United States. I was born in Kefalonia in 1946. I stayed in Kefalonia all my life until I was 19 years old. My husband came from America and we met in Kefalonia. We got married in 1965 and we came to New Jersey. And since then we live in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. You've been a member of the um, Cherry Hill community from the beginning. From the beginning, from 1967, 67, when the, the church was built in 67. And everyone knows you, your involvement with dance. Could you give us a little background about how you started here at St. Thomas with the dance group? I always loved to dance and when I came here, and I brought my daughter in 1974 to Greek school. I remember Mrs. Sebekos who was the teacher of the Greek school and she was showing the kids a Greek dance and I offered to help her. And she said, not only my class, but you can help other classes too. And then she was the one who told me if I wanna make a group, a Greek dance group here because they didn't have any. And uh, Father Stephen was the priest then and he said it's okay with him too. So I started slowly to teach the Greek dancers to only 12 people that uh, young men, as a matter of fact, they were from eight years old up to 13 years old. And the parents, two of the parents made the costumes because we didn't have any money or any, any costumes to wear them. And uh, in 1980, when I went to Greece and I brought some costumes, real authentic costumes, the ones that Dora Strato has. And since then, every year I go to Greece and I purchase more costumes. And uh, right now we have more than 200 costumes that they cost a lot of money. And they are authentic and they're handmade in Greece. So now 40 years later, you're still teaching dance. Uh, how many kids do you work with and how many actual dances do the kids know? Right now, um, I think they know around 200, maybe 250, 250 dances each kid. Of course, they are not the same kids since I started. Uh, every year when they start going to college, they don't come anymore to the dance group, so I have to have new kids and start all over again with the dances. And uh, I also have to mention that Margarita Zografos Vretos is helping me. And uh, the previous years, I had a lot of help for my son, for my nephews, and uh, John Scordos and other kids that they were helping me with the dance. So I was not by myself. So you, you, you've put your own kids through the system. Oh, yes. Tell us a little bit about that. What's it like to have your kids um, growing up in a Greek household, learning authentic folk dancing and the language. How important a role did that play? It was very important to me. If you hear my kids speak Greek, they speak better than I do. So that was very nice. And uh, I also, they're good, very good dancers. And right now I have their own kids. I have my grandkids dance and they, loved, they all love to dance. So that was very nice, very important to me and I love it. Do you bring your husband out to dance with you? Does he? My husband has two left feet. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> 80, 1980, we brought the first costumes from Greece. And in 1988, uh, it was a competition in California, in Sacramento, California. And uh, the kids wanted to go there and participate in the competition. To be honest with you, I don't like competition, but in, since the kids, they wanted to go, uh, we went there and they won second place from 92 groups. They were very upset because they did not win the first prize because they thought their 
excellent, the dance very good. And the person that, the group that won the first prize, were, they were ladies and they were dancing a men's dance, Partalo. As a matter of fact, the name of the dance was Partalo. And it's a dance that dance only by men. So for you, tradition is the most important the most aspect. Important. The authenticity of the dances is most important yeah, man, for me. And also the costumes. If you dance, a certain dance, you have to have the same, the costume that goes with that dance. I don't like to see people dancing, let's say, Tsamiko and wear Kritiki costume or the opposite. So tradition, the language, uh, it's very it's important to me. All together. style, yes. Tell me, um, is there a particular dance that you still feel is challenging for you to learn, to continue to learn about? I love all the dances and Kritika, I love Kritika, but I feel that I don't have it. I don't have the movement, I don't have the, the style. We all know how to dance Kritika, but as I said, uh, the style in it, something is missing from the style. Uh, what about um, performing? Um, is there a specific time of the year that you love to perform or uh, a particular event that gives you great pride to participate in? When I see that the group dance always gives me pride because they dance in our festival, they dance 25th of March in uh, Sights and Sounds. They won for 19 years, I remember, they won for Sights and Sounds first place. When we went to Annapolis again, they won first place there too. But uh, as I said before, I don't like competition. I prefer to perform. Per performance instead of competition. And as far as performance goes, you're still dancing yourself today. I also have a group of ladies and we dance during our festival and we try to practice almost every Thursday night and learn more dances. Cleo, there were two major highlights in your life and as a member of this dance group these last few years. One was the 2004 trip to Cuba and just recently, less than a year ago, was the 40th anniversary of the dance group. Could you speak about those two trips or those two particular moments? Αν δεν σας πειράζει θα μιλήσω ελληνικά τώρα. Το 2004 πήγαμε στη Κιούμπα. Τότε θα άνοιγε η εκκλησία του Αγίου Νικολάου. Παρευρέθηκε ο αρχιεπίσκοπός μας, ο κύριος Δημήτριος ο Πατριάρχης Βαρθολομέος, κ. Βαρθολομέος, επίσης ήταν και ο πρώην βασιλιάς μας, ο Κωνσταντίνος. Α, ήταν μεγάλη τιμή για μας να παραβρεθούμε εκεί, στην, στα, ανοιχτή, στα θυρανίξια της Εκκλησίας του Αγίου Νικολάου και μετά να παρουσιάσουμε ένα μικρό χορευτικό πρόγραμμα σε όλους τους επίσημους καλεσμένους. Uh, δεν θα το ξεχάσω ποτέ το ταξίδι αυτό, uh, καθώς επίσης και όλα τα παιδιά τα οποία έλαβαν μέρος. Ήταν uh, πολύ μεγάλη η εμπειρία. Uh, υπήρχαν πολύ όμορφα κτίρια, αν θυμάμαι καλά, αλλά υπήρχε και πολύ μεγάλη δυστυχία εκεί. Και αυτό μου έχει μείνει βαθιά μέσα μου. Δεν, δεν μου άρεσε καθόλου αυτό το... Ε, τώρα το επόμενο γεγονός ήταν σύμφωνα με τα 40 χρόνια α, από την ίδρυση της χορευτικής ομάδας. Υπήρξε μεγάλη συγκίνηση σε αυτή την εκδήλωση γιατί έβλεπα να χορεύουν τα δικά μου τα παιδιά καθώς και άλλα παιδιά μαζί με τα δικά τους. Ε, και δηλαδή αυτό μου έδωσε την εντύπωση ότι το έργο το οποίο έχω αρχίσει, έχω ξεκινήσει από το 1974 ε, συνεχίζεται ε, με μεγάλο, τα παιδιά χόρεψαν με μεγάλο πάθος, με μεγάλη όρεξη και αυτό με ευχαριστεί ιδιαίτερα γιατί όπως φαίνεται η παράδοση καλά κρατεί. Has, um, I know we didn't talk about this earlier, but how has music and has music actually, and dance, excuse me, has dance changed your life and influenced your life in some way that we can mention? Δεν νομίζω να με έχει αλλάξει τη ζωή. Το μόνο που, όπως σας είπα από μικρή, επειδή με άρεσε η μουσική, πρέπει να αναφέρω ότι ο πατέρας μου ήταν ιεροψάλτης και πολύ καλός χορευτής και οι δύο μου γονείς ήταν πολύ καλοί χορευτέ και υπήρξε πάντοτε στη ζωή μου και η μουσική και ο χορός και το τραγούδι. 
Οπότε δεν νομίζω ότι μου έχει αλλάξει καθόλου τη ζωή αυτό. Απλώ συνεχίζεται αυτή η παράδοση για μένα και αυτό με ικανοποιεί. Κλείο, 40 years later, here at St. Thomas and director of the Hellenic Heritage Dance Group, how would you like to be remembered? Ελπίζω να με θυμούνται με αγάπη και εύχομαι να υπάρξει κάποιος συνεχιστής του έργου μου αυτού, το οποίο έχει μεγάλη σημασία για μένα, δηλαδή η διατήρηση των ηθών, εθήμων, ε, της γλώσσης και της παραδόσεως. Και εύχομαι πάλι, όπως είπα προηγουμένως, αν όχι η Μαργαρίτα Ζωγράφη, η οποία είναι η βοηθός μου, κανένα από τα παιδιά μου να μπορέσει να συνεχίσει το έργο μου. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Και εγώ ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ.